Now, we have already had rain and gusty winds this morning. In fact, here's our trouble spot as far as wind is concerned. Muncie down towards Newcastle. Winds already this morning at nearly 50 miles per hour. In the meantime, Greencastle over towards western Hendricks County, we're seeing some heavy rain. The lightning really is south of Evansville, so that's good. At least right now, we don't have any measurable lightning to watch, but it's going to be a heck of a day. Already 58 degrees, so here it is, 419 in the morning, and we're already 7 degrees warmer than average. Here's what I'm watching today and why I want you to be weather aware. We have a wind advisory. The winds could gust to 60 plus with some heavy downpours, hail damaging winds, and the possibility of tornadoes later on today. Now, as you plan your day, we're going to get warm really quick. In fact, I think we'll be above 70 later on today. Again, I hope I'm wrong about this between 9 and noon, because if we get sunshine, that would make the atmosphere even more volatile as that warm air starts to rise. Here are the current wind gusts. And this is a little earlier than I thought it would be. 47 mile per hour gusts right now in Muncie at Indianapolis International 32. At Holman Field in Terre Haute, the wind's right now gusting at 45 miles per hour. I wanted to show you this. This is how I put together my forecast. This is the enhanced risk for severe weather that we have. This is the large area that you see in red where there's at least a 30% chance that we could see 60 mile per hour winds. That is a big area today. Uh, also, we're looking at the possibility of one inch diameter hail. Now, that's a low uh, percentage, 5%, but really that's kind of high. 5% is high for one inch diameter hail. That means that we could see hail perhaps smaller than that, but around in some of these thunderstorms. And this is what everybody wants to know, uh, the tornado threat. This is a good possibility that at least the conditions are right for the forming of tornadoes later today, thus the enhanced risk. On a scale of 1 to 5, we would be in a 3. Two days ago, the prediction was a 1 for us, so uh, that threat has gone up. Now, these winds are going to be very, very strong throughout the day today, 46 miles per hour at 2 p.m. I think when a lot of the kids uh, are home and some people are coming down at the end of the rush hour, we're talking about 55 mile per hour gusts. Here's what's going on. By the noon hour, let's hope it's still raining. We want it to still rain uh, throughout noon, 2 o'clock. We're going to see these showers and thunderstorms. A lot of this could peel out by anywhere between 5 and 7 p.m. tonight as we'll be ahead of a front. But then a cold front's going to move through tonight, dropping our temperature from 72 to 39 in a period of only six hours. 40 tomorrow for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. 42 Saturday, 49 Sunday. Obviously, we have a lot to talk about on this stormy day. Much more for you in a few minutes. Ben, enjoy it.